Right here in the U.S., thousands of kids are trafficked and prosecuted every year. The myth is it's just women and girls. That is patently false. Uh, although certainly IOM statistics will show that the majority of people we've assisted have been, uh, have been women and girls trafficked for sexual exploitation. Human trafficking is the fastest growing criminal industry in the world, generating more than $150 billion a year. Uh, the reality is that boys and men are also subject to exploitation sexually. People think that boys can get away, that boys can handle it, and they don't understand issues like trauma bonding with your trafficker and the fact that these young people are hooked on uh, drugs, that the traffickers get them hooked on drugs, and they don't understand that they're beaten into submission and that it's human slavery. We have found that boys at, are at higher risk of trafficking for sexual exploitation. Boys are often made invisible due to these kind of regressive assumptions about gender, which reinforce the idea that males are perpetrators and all females are victims. I decided then that um, that was going to be my last big hurrah was to uh, the establishment of what I call Bob's House of Hope, which is the safe house for uh, young men that have been uh, sex trafficked. Bob's House of Hope will be the first safe house in the country to serve sex trafficked boys between the ages of 18 and 22. With your help, the house will open in 2020 providing long-term care for these innocent victims. When we talk about establishment of a safe house, my philosophy is that we need long-term treatment. It's not short-term. You can't flip these kids. Our strategy is that how do we, um, you know, get them safe, put a little bit of God in their life, teach them some skill sets, give them the counseling that they need, but most of all, um, let them learn how to trust again and to go out and have a happy and fulfilled life. We can do that. Please help us help them. Support Bob's House of Hope.